I think that, that I would like, in, in winding up our talk today, to ask you what you'd like to say to people who might be viewing this 20 years from now or check it out of the library 50 years from now. What would you like them to be doing or, or what message would you like to give them? Well, I guess, uh, you know, I would hope that 20 years from now that, um, that we uh, will have um, rethought uh, our attitudes toward food and, and consequently toward the planet. Um, I'm afraid that, that our attitude toward food as we have become more and more removed from the source of food, from mm -hmm. the land and from the production systems, uh, has become very sterile. Um, you know, you go to the supermarket and buy a gallon of milk and you expect you can always go back and there'll be another gallon of milk there and sure. that's sort of where it stops. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's a tremendous loss to our society culturally as well as, uh, as, well as uh, from a point of view of economics or production. Um, you know, in that sense, uh, in that sense uh, urban people are culturally deprived. Uh, yes, even and, the wealthy uh, ones. And uh, I would hope that either through new structures of agriculture, we can get a larger percentage of our population back on the land and back onto the farms. From my point of view, that would be ideal. That may be, uh, that may be naive. Maybe that won't happen. If it doesn't happen, then I would hope that, that as a society and through uh, the networking between farmers and, and urban people and rural people, uh, we can develop some of these other models of either uh, you know, cooperative co-op sharing of, uh, of, of a farm or, uh, um, I, I don't know, you know, they're, they're, mm -hmm. when, when you think of new social structures or try to anticipate new social structures, there's probably always going to be different than the one that you fantasize. But um, uh, whatever the concrete models are, I do, think that there is a, I do think there is an interest, a growing interest in our society uh, for people to, to take control of their lives again and be involved in the things that really affect them again, and that includes food. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm very hopeful about that. I, um, I have a, I'm a populist. I have a lot of confidence in the average, in the average citizen. Mm -hmm. And, um, and an optimist. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think what's happened uh, in Eastern Europe uh, this past year is simply a symbol of uh, something that's happening globally. And I think we'll see some of that uh, affecting this nation as well. Yes, and, and as you were saying, that's something we couldn't have predicted, just like you that's can't right. predict what social models we can that's do right. in the future. We yeah. couldn't have predicted that. Right. The, uh, the, the only paper that I brought along that I wanted to ask you about is something called Switching to a Sustainable System, which you wrote, and which um, is uh, at the National Agricultural Library. Do you still feel that this is a, a really a relevant... Uh, document with good advice to offer people who are, are yeah I think the the basic uh, advice in there I think is still sound uh, there are some um, some details in it that um, I guess I would change if I were to write a new edition of it um, but nothing particularly major no I think the the basic the basic uh, principles are sound mm -hmm. well I think that uh, it's one of the, the the documents that we turn back to where we consult when people write us or call us at the National Agriculture Library and uh, do you have anything else that you'd like to uh, share? No, I, I very much enjoyed uh, chatting with you. I think, um, I, I, yeah, you know, I think one of the one of the uh, the um, exciting things about our future is that we are growing out of the uh, notion that agriculture, for example, is this isolated discipline oh, yes, that yes. you know people are involved in, and and I think that's very healthy. Um, um, you know, none of us are experts in the old sense of the word uh, uh, about anything that's happening yeah. in our society. And um, so as we, can, as we can share information and, um, and learn from one another, uh, I think we can, uh, we can develop a future that, uh, that our children can be um, happy and proud of. I would hope so, and I think that if it happens, and I hope it does, that it will be due to people like you who are willing to share some time away from their wheat field. Um, I hope you get back to your 200 acres before it rains and before it's past harvest time. And again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. It's my it's, pleasure. It's a pleasure for us. I really appreciate it.